Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Well, you know what? This is just more proof where Stephen A. Smith is just taking a loss and he just can't accept it. So now in a, another failed attempt to try to manipulate black people and try to basically save face for Jay-Z, they attempt to bring Michael Eric Dyson basically to talk all the double talk about black people and how uh, people work behind the scenes and all this type of stuff and saying, well, he believed that Jay-Z. When is Jay-Z going to come forward and say that he had that so-called bullshit workout for Colin Kaepernick arranged? Because it's funny, you got everybody else talking about Jay-Z allegedly did it, but you ain't heard from Jay-Z himself. Because you know why? Jay-Z is scared to say that he has something to do with it in case more information come out about what happened with that workout because at the end of the day most people with common sense already know what it was about it was about them it was a fake workout colin kaepernick was not gonna get signed too many stipulations too many too many d different issues going on and i agree with dr boyce Watkins. espn need to stop talking about race issues and stop trying to bring other black people on to talk alongside another black person which we all perceive him to be a sellout because at the end of the day nobody cares what michael eric dyson has to say michael eric dyson lost his credibility years ago because he was once again he was with the inconsistent blackness so michael eric dyson has lost all type of credibility we all know what time it is with jay-z we all see what it is with jay-z Jay-Z has too much of a bad history about snaking people, you know, and the big question is, okay, Jay-Z wants to own the team in the NFL. Why do you want to own the team in the NFL? Why don't you start your own league? You know, everybody keep talking about, well, he's a billionaire, but why don't he start his own, his own league? Why do you feel the need to want to own a team alongside a bunch of white supremacist and racist owners at the end of the day Colin Kaepernick was snaked by Jay-Z and basically he was used as a handkerchief head and then you get Stephen A. Smith saying something that nobody gives a damn about oh well all the advertising uh, ads have been sold at five million dollars per spot Look, do, do do anybody care? I believe that's the impact of Jay. I mean, this this dude, Michael Eric Dyson, had the nerve to try to insult black people's intelligence by trying to compare Jay Z to Martin Luther King. That's just insulting. Jay Z ain't never stood for nothing except expanding his pocketbooks. That's the only thing that 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 camel faced Negro ever did that's the only thing he stands for that's the only thing he cares about and these dudes continue to try to insult our intelligence by trying to bring token after token on that espn platform trying to cape for jay-z in the nfl the damage is already done with jay-z we already see who he is and what he is it's nothing that Michael Eric Dyson can say. And see, the more the ESPN try to press the issue with this, the more it seems like they reaching, the more they exposing themselves, and the more Stephen A. Smith is exposing himself as a guy who got humiliated and he basically can't take his L. And he know he was wrong. We've all pretty much then moved away from the Colin Kaepernick situation because we see, see it for what it is. It's a horrible situation. And I'm just not buying what this dude is selling. I think I think it's a travesty that you got the ESPN trying to insult people's intelligence. Jay-Z don't care about nobody but Jay-Z. He don't give a damn about Colin Kaepernick. Like I said, Jay-Z ruined his own reputation. It wasn't Colin Kaepernick. At the end of the day, it shouldn't even have went on this long. It shouldn't even have came to this. So now, at the end of the day, it's nothing 
that the NFL can do. There's nothing Jay-Z can do. There's nothing Stephen A. Smith can do. We all know what time it is with the NFL. And we all know what happened with Colin Kaepernick. They had no intentions on signing that dude. The only thing they wanted to do was get him to sign away. This is your boy Town Viz. I'm out.